quase que um drama que li Sou quase que um drama que li Sou qual a ia mãe que lhe adivinou PDP wagon.
in our history. A day given to us to change our narratives. But applying lessons learned when I went over to a house we thought was greener than our house. Just like a child that was cautioned by his parents, but we didn't listen and had to go along the hard way has now come back home. Like the saying goes, water will always find its way back to its source. I've always been in PDP since 20, 2012, there about with uh, Governor Tambor, President here at the time was uh, the Speaker of the House. I learned from the Fuji House of Promotion called ABC. You don't give what you don't have. A party that is your one day old, basically. That's what it is. I tell you a story. When I was commissioner for local government, yep. Yep. I reached out to Senator Sadiq. When it was tough and I wasn't allowed to serve people. But as usual, Senator Sadiq ignored me. Do you know why? Do you know why? Because he was working with the government to install his childhood friend, who is the present local commissioner, on the seat. That was the reason why. Any child of Quara not that it's not ready to be part of the Quara not agenda, it's hereby to be disowned. I send a message today. If you are a child, a son, a daughter of Kwara, and you have said you are not ready to have a Kwara not agenda, a Kwara not son or daughter on the seat of Governor of Kwara State, a seat that is rightfully ours, our time to govern, then you are hereby disowned. Tell them, and I stand here today, that each and every son of Kwara North has teamed up and is united, and here come May 2023 is the son or daughter of Kwara North that will be sitting on the governor of Kwara City. <laughs> Even though I knew a little bit too late that I was actually in the wrong house, which was APC, I reached out to as many stakeholders in APC. I cried for help, but not a single soul cared about me. But where I was, thousands in numbers reached out to me and asked me, come back home to PDP. Thank you, the great people of Party D. Quara not once again for being my roots and my origins. Wow. What an extreme pleasure and privilege it is to stand with you here today to be back home under the protection of the great umbrella my word PDP that has continued and consistently accommodated shielded us and provides the enabling platform to participate in the process of democracy and thank you to all in attendance at this decamping ceremony, I am most grateful. As you have welcomed me and shown me love, and over my life, my forever lifetime, my mother and Negi here with us now, thank you for consistently giving me the needed guidance and scolding me to be the woman that I am. 
my father, Alaji Aman Patigi, he was part of our founding fathers. We came together as one to ensure you and I today can stand and to say we are not doing it right. May the gentle souls rest in peace. Amen. To our Bagadoji. Bagadoji. For being the father to us all, our Babas and Amias across the Paranot, from Kayama, Baruti, Moro, and Odu. We say thank you for being the pillar of our culture and ensuring we remember where we're coming from. And yeah, did I forget a particular demographic? No, not, no. You, Are you sure? You captured all, yeah. The youth. Oh. Oh my goodness. How can I forget? Just a joke. I can never forget you. Without you, there is no future. Yeah, all. So this is about you. Let's hold hands and create a better quarrel. Last but not least, my siblings, friends, thank you for being my support system. And of course, my pillar, I am. Thank you. So Priya Isa. So Priya Inasa. Come 2023. Isha Allah. And you not that of uh, Honorable Aisha Mampatigi to PDP today uh, is a sign of good things to come to PDP. And uh, on her own part, it is a very wise decision on her part uh, because her former party, APC, is crumbling right from the top. And so anybody still sitting uh, and carrying APC card, just waiting for the ship to completely uh, drown in the River Niger or Atlantic Ocean. So it's a very good decision on her part. And um, as you know, uh, Ama Fatigi is a grassroots uh, mobilizer and are joining us. Uh, in particular, local government simply means that uh, APC is almost uh, gone as far as particular local government is concerned because she has been a driving force behind APC in particular local government. Uh, having said that, we all recall the circumstances that led to her resignation from the government of uh, Alaji Abdul Razak Abdraman, the governor of Kwara State. She spotted the fraudulent uh, act perpetrated by a government and um, she decided to point it out and uh, she felt that she was not going to be part of that uh, fraudulent act. We are over 300 million naira was alleged to have been uh, systematically removed from local government funds on a monthly basis. Uh, that shows that uh, she's a woman of integrity, a honest individual coming from our locality. And we are very proud of her. We are very proud of her that uh, 
uh, something that is very real in our climb in Nigeria. For, for somebody who was, for, for somebody, somebody who was holding a very key position in uh, government, uh, somebody who was holding the position of commissioner for local government, one of the key ministers of government, to resign. Voluntarily, because of what she said uh, was not uh, in line with her nature. She didn't be part of a fraudulent government. And I think uh, she took the right decision, and uh, we appreciate God for that. And she's highly welcome. We welcome her. That's why I traveled down all the way from Milan this afternoon to also welcome her to the party. Thank you very much. On behalf of the chairman, on behalf of the chairman and members of the People's Democratic Party, Party to Local Government, I present this umbrella, which is the symbol of PDP, People's Democratic Party, to Ajia Aisha Aman Patidi as a mark of our happiness with her for coming back to PDP.